this tutorial, we're going to discuss some of the built-in methods available in Jeru. Starting with Jeru, if we click on this question mark, we see that the manual for Jeru will come up. Along the top, we have all these different tabs that characterize the different methods that are available. In this tutorial, we're going to focus our attention on two of these tabs, the instantiation tab, which allows us to create Jeru's, and the Boolean methods that return true or false. Let's start by having a look at the instantiation methods. Here, there are six different instantiation methods or different ways that we can create a Jeru. In our course, we're only going to be using two of these, the simplest one that looks like this, and the most complicated one that looks like this. Let's give examples of each of these in action. Starting from a brand new program, we always start our Jeru with the method main. Now let's create two Jeru's. I've created two Jeru's here, one named J and the other named K. Let's run this program now. We see that Jeru J has already shown up on the screen, and when no parameters are given in the Jeru call, by default, the Jeru will show up at the origin, location 00, zero and it will face to the right. Furthermore, the Jeru will be born with no flowers. Alternatively, if we supply information in the parameter list on the Jeru constructor call, we can get all this information specified when we create a new Jeru. This Jeru, for example, has been created on location 1015 on the grid. It starts off life by facing west and also has 40 flowers when it's born. Getting back to our Jeru manual, we're now going to discuss some of the Boolean methods that are built into Jeru. So by clicking on the Jeru Boolean methods tab, we see that there is a large number of methods that are already available to us that we do not need to write. We can use these methods to find out if a Jeru currently has any flowers what direction it's facing, if there's a flower nearby, if there's a Jeru nearby, if there's a net nearby, if there's water nearby, or if the path is clear on all four sides of us. Notice that some of these methods require a compass direction while others take a relative direction. To understand the difference between the two, we can explore these two tabs here. The compass directions are provided as north, south, east, and west. Note that when you write these compass directions in your code, they must be all capital letters to signify that they are constants in the code. Likewise, with the relative directions, they are also listed as all capital letters, but they are given by the words left, right, ahead, and here. The word here refers to the current square that the Jeru is occupying. Based on the direction that the Jeru is facing, the word ahead means the square that is directly ahead of the square that the Jeru is facing. To the right and to the left are, of course, relative to the Jeru's facing direction as well. 